My name is Daniel Wynn, and by day, I invest in sports cards. But by night, I make videos about investing in sports cards. I am the great curator. Join me on my journey to break even in the hobby that we all love. Hello everyone, I'm The Great Curator and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time that you guys are visiting, thank you so much for stopping by, I really appreciate it. The reason I make these videos is for education. This is my fun and creative way to kind of give back to the community by sharing my opinions, my perspective, and my insight with you guys on these topics and issues that I'm discussing. Um, it's my sincere hope that you guys will find value in these videos and continue to support this channel. This is also a way for me to kind of use the YouTube platform to spread my message of positivity, and uh, civility within the hobby. I believe that if we come together as a community and set a very high standard of conduct and civility that we hold each other accountable to, we will weed out all the bad actors that are currently trying to ruin our hobby and we will be better off for it. We can be gentlemen investors, we can be lady investors, and we can do it very easily. All we have to do is just be uh, kind, uh, nice, respectful and honest to each other. Super easy guys, we should be doing these things anyways, but if we do it and we hold each other accountable to these standards, I believe that our, our community will be stronger, the hobby will grow, and the values of our cards will rise. So hopefully you guys will support this message. This is my mi mission statement, this is why I make these videos. Please support me. You can do that by subscribing, sharing, liking um, these videos, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. Thank you. Welcome back everybody to another video. Today's video is going to be very controversial. I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash for this, but uh, I'm just going to put it out there. Anyways, this video is about why PSA is the best grading company out of all the major grading companies and all the other grading companies out there. PSA is the best one. The reason I'm saying PSA is the best grading company is because of the brand that PSA has, the, the branding behind PSA and the value associated with that branding and the power of the branding. That's what this video is really about. So let me just kind of start this off and just preference this by saying that the reason I want to make this video is because I get questions all the time from people. People DM me on a daily basis. No joke, guys. They always present me with these cards that they got and they say, hey, is this a, should I, should I send this for grading? Where should, where do you suggest I send it? PSA, BGS, SGC, or some other grading company. And I always, 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 I always say, if, if the price is right, send it to PSA. PSA is king. And the reason I say that is because PSA has, has the best resale value on their cards. It's not, even, it's not even close in terms of resale value. That's why you wanna send your cards to PSA because PSA will give you the most value, uh, the most resale value on those cards depending on the grade. Right, and and let me just also preface this by saying that you know we're not talking about which 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 company where you get the best grade. That's just solely dependent on the card itself. But in generally speaking, which uh, in terms of which would you rather send your your card to? It's going to be PSA because PSA has the best resale value on the cards. So this video, I'm going to talk about why it has the best value. I'm going to give you guys a couple examples, some outside examples, then some specific card examples. Then I'm going to tell you why I think that. PSA has been able to achieve this status and have such a such a large degree of separation from the other grading companies. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts, okay? So let's just start off by, by giving you guys an example of why branding is so important. Um, we as a, as a society, as a consumer society, we value brands uh, when we don't even think about it. We don't even, psych psychologically, we don't even think about how we value brands, but we look at brands every single day. Believe me, if you, if you sit down and you really think about it, you will see how important brands are. So let me get, give you guys some ex examples. Let's just take shoes, for example. Which would you rather have? Which would most people rather have? New Balance or Nike shoes? They're both the same in terms of functionality. Uh, they both protect your feet. They let you walk around, you know, outside. Uh, they're both probably the same materials. They're both probably the same uh, level of comfort. But most people would rather have Nike because they value the brand of Nike because Nike is cool. That's, that's why they would rather buy Nike and that's why Nike is usually more expensive. All right? Another example, if you've ever tried to buy a diamond for your wife, your girlfriend, you know, uh, or a significant other or whatever, tr try asking them if they would prefer to have a natural diamond pulled out of the ground, like a blood diamond in Africa, or a lab-created diamond 
uh, you know, a man-made diamond created in the lab. I guarantee you they will all say that they'd rather have the natural diamond. Even though when you put the two together, molecularly, under a microscope, they're, they're the same thing. The only difference is one was created by man, one was created by nature. And they're always going to pick the one created by nature because that is the more expensive one. And people think that, uh, that expensive equals value or expensive equals quality. People think that. And that's just, that's just how we think, guys. Believe me. Believe me. If you try to buy a, diamond, uh, a lab created diamond for your significant other, that will be the last thing you ever see in life. Believe me, I, I tried to suggest that. I was, I, was, I was foolish enough to suggest that to my wife when you know, I, was, we, I was buying her engagement ring and uh, she nearly left me. She nearly, she nearly called it off, guys. She nearly called the whole damn thing off because I didn't want to pay three, four times extra for a, a lab uh, or a natural diamond. I did eventually, okay guys, before you roast me in the comments, I did eventually. Um, buy a real diamond but you know I tried to get away with it and it didn't work and she nearly killed me for it but she got she got the diamond that she wanted right and I had to pay up for it to, to I had to pay up like three times as much to get that same type of diamond and it's because of the perceived value of the branding that comes behind that okay guys so those are some outside examples let me give you something a little bit more specific here let's talk about PSA 10 Jordan versus the BGS 9.5 Jordan uh, recently, a PSA 10 Jordan sold for about $360,000. $360,000. BGS 9.5 sold for $60,000. It's like a $300,000 difference between the two. All right, let's let's break this down, guys. Two cards, right? They're they're the same card. They're both the same card. So there's no difference in the subject matter of the cards. Condition-wise, True Gem 9.5s across the board versus PSA 10. Condition-wise they are indistinguishable. Believe me, if you put these two cards raw side by side, they would be nearly indistinguishable from each other in terms of condition. The only, the only difference would be subjective depending on the grader, okay, uh, and the company, the grading. If you, if you switch the graders, they would probably be the same grade uh, with the different companies, right? The, di the differences are indistinguishable. So really, the only difference between the two that, that, that warrants a $300,000 different price tag is the label. The PSA label, the brand behind that label is significantly more valuable than a BGS. Why? Who knows? Who knows why, right? But that's why you always hear the saying when people say buy the card instead of buying the, gra uh, the grade or the label, buy the card. It's because of situations like this. There's no debate that PSA has the best resale or the highest resale value on the cars, but they're also more expensive too. But if you're, if you're looking for a resale value or what's most desirable, it's going to be PSA. So let me tell you guys why I think that this happened. Okay. This is my hypothesis. I have no, no basis, no evidence to prove this, but this is just how I see it. So maybe you guys will agree with me. Okay. It, it has to do with less how of how PSA marketed themselves, but how BGS marketed themselves and how that kind of backfired. Okay. Um, BGS came around in 1999 and to distinguish themselves from PSA, uh, I may get my history on this a little bit wrong, so, but this is how it is right now. Uh, how they, how they kind of distinguish it themselves is they, they, instead of having a, a nine and a 10 grade, they had a 9.5 and a 10 above that. That's how they kind of distinguished it themselves. And they try, and it was a really a gimmick guys, what they were trying to do. It was a big gimmick, but what they did is they said, they tried to equate 9.5 to be equal to PSA 10. And therefore, the BGS 10 was higher than the PSA 10, and the black label was even higher than that. That was their gimmick that they used. And for a period of time, that worked out really well. People like were trying to chase those BGS 10s, and um, you know the 9.5s were put out at a higher rate than than the 10s. So therefore, the 9.5s became equal in, in terms of pop count to PSA 10 or something like that, where they were they were viewed as equal. But I think that psychologically over time, when people were looking at the two labels, if you look at a 9.5 versus a 10, you're going to want the 10. People want the perfect 10. They don't want a 9.5. That 9.5 label just stands out and looks odd. That's why people would rather have PSA 10s across the board rather than BGS 9.5s across the board. And the BGS 
tens, I know a lot of people are saying, well, the tens are equal to PSA tens, right? The tens are, are so infrequent in terms of their grading, like the, the consistency of sending out PSA or BGS tens is so inconsistent that they, they almost become like an afterthought. They're like a super, super rare item that if you find one, you covet it and things like that, but people just aren't chasing the BGS tens because they're just not a lot out there especially the black label ones where that's like that's almost become like a mythical unicorn that people chase out there and those command a lot of resale a lot of higher resale value than a PSA 10 but they're just not collectible because they're not out there enough there's not enough for most people to collect most of the time you see 9.5s out there and i think because the 9.5 compared to a 10 it just looks like a lower tier and therefore a lot a lot more people try to go after the PSA 10s and because of that the resale value has uh, has grown between those two and that's why there's such a degree of separation between those guys. So that's my theory about what has happened. So let me just kind of give you my, my, my closing thoughts on this guys and why and how this applies to you. The reason I wanted it, you guys to understand this, the difference between the grading companies and why PSA is the best is because you have to decide where what your goals are. If your goal is to flip or to have the best the, the most valuable card out there, then you're gonna want the PSA, the PSA 10s, because that's just where it is right now. That may change in the future, who knows, maybe maybe PS or BGS dumps a lot of money into marketing and something like that and they, they overtake PSA, but right now, probably not. There's such a, a huge gap between them in terms of resale value, value that it's just, I just don't see that happening, okay? so. And if, if that's your goal, you gotta you gotta go for PSA tens, all right? That that is that is where you need to put your money. That's that's where you should be sending your cards to be graded if you think they can ten. If you're looking for value though, qual value for your money, the best value that you can get for your dollar, then BGS is a great alternative because you can get a nine point five, which is basically like a ten, at uh, usually uh, a fraction of the price of a PSA ten you know, or at least half, half the price usually. And you know, if you want, you have that card and if that's the card that you want and you don't care about the labels, then you're gonna be happy. If you want to crack it and take your chance and gamble and get a, and try to get a PSA 10, you can do that too and that's a good way to kind of add a lot of value to your cards. So if, if getting value for your dollar is your best, is your goal, BGS is, is the play to make. And then, you know, SGC, I haven't really talked about that, that's like a distance, Third, that's a different niche play for like lower end cards, I would say, or very uh, or vintage cards. So you could do that. But all the other grading companies, which I'm not even going to mention because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, all the other grading companies are not even worth attempting right now, just because they're not on the same level as the as as PSA or BGS. So I wouldn't even waste uh, waste my time or money trying to get those companies to grade any of my cards unless it was like for a novelty purpose. Like you you really like the label or something like that. So you might wanna give those companies, send some cards to them, some lower end cards. But other than that, I wouldn't even touch those grading companies, guys. Okay, so yeah, so that's basically my thoughts of, about why PSA is the best grading company out there. It's because of the brand associated with PSA, because of the value associated with that brand, guys. So just understand that when you're buying your cards and when you're thinking about grading cards, have those two thought processes in mind. If you want resale value, if you want uh, the best, uh, most desirable, PSA. If you want the best value for the dollars that you're gonna be spending, BGS. So that's my final thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you agree with me, disagree with me, whatever, just tell me what you guys think in the comments. I, loved, I would love to hear what you guys have to say on this topic. If you guys agree with me or if you understand my reasoning, let's have this discussion. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. I'm the green.